Hello, potato. It's that time of the afternoon and I'm feeling really draggy today. So I think it's a good time for a tea break. But today I really do, I need more. So we're gonna have not just one tea, but two teas. It's tea two, it's judgment tea. It's from our friends at 3.15 p.m. anytime, anywhere. We've done a video on them not too long ago. We have original milk tea and rose fruity milk tea. Now, I have never seen these this brand presented this way before. Normally, when I've seen 3.15 p.m., it has been in the boxes with the individual sachets. It's not been in a cup. So I thought that was interesting that we have a, a cup kind of ready to use. I mean, all you need to add is the boiling water. You know, with the normal 3.15, you have to add a cup too, and the boiling water. Today, it's just the boiling water. Now, what I expect to see in here, based on the imagery on the front here, is that we're just gonna have a, like, foam cup with a tea bag rattling around in it, probably a sealed tea bag, but still just a tea bag rolling around. There's not gonna be any of the extra goodies like spoons or straws or any of that. Essentially what I've probably done here is paid about as much as I probably would have paid for, or between the two of these, about as much as I would have paid for just a whole box of the tea bags, which is like five or six, for two along with some landfill cups. Uh, what does it say about themselves? 90 calories each, no protein, that's not surprising. 0% of your daily sodium, but they do each contain, this one has 10 milligrams of sodium, this has five milligrams of sodium. And uh, what is, can't read any of that. I should learn. So basically uh, it's made the same way as the individual bags. You steep it for three minutes if you want it to just be sweet. You steep it for five minutes if you want it to taste of tea. And you use a hundred, well, sorry, hundred cc's of hot water for an ice pre preparation. I can speak today. This is why I need the caffeine, isn't it? Or 200 cc's if you want to have it hot. Today we're going to have it hot because uh, these are these are cups that are meant for hot drinks. And I don't think there's a straw included. Although I don't know, there's a lot of writing on here. And again, not a lot of water. 200 cc's is like 0.8 something of a cup, which I am not going to measure out because I don't have measuring cups that talk in cubic centimeters. I have uh, I have like American and I have the rest of the world, but I don't have cubic centimeters. So is that a normal thing to anybody who happens to watch this, who has lived in a, on the Asian continent or its outlying island nations, or where is this even from? Uh, Taiwan, some Shenzhen foods. TW, yeah, Taiwan. If you lived in Taiwan, is that is that a is that a normal thing? Do you do your measuring cups go in cubic centimeters? I'm not judging. I'm not saying it's weird. It's just I think 315 is the only brand that I ever <laughs> I've ever encountered that measures in cubic centimeters and not like cups or liters. Let's get our plastic wrap off of these and see what is inside. It sounds like there's something hard in there, so maybe maybe we do get a straw or something. Uh, best buy on these isn't until next year, so that's good. They are well, well in date. So what do we get in our cup here? Oh, okay, we do get a stir. That's nice. So that's what I'm hearing. And But yeah, otherwise, yeah, that's what I was expecting. We're just getting one of the tea bag packets that come in the normal boxes of 315 tea. Oh, it's not, it's a paper cup. It's not a foam cup. I thought it was foam for some reason. Well, that's good. At least it's more biodegradable landfill. So of course there's no boba or anything in this. These are not boba teas. They are just milk teas, rose fruity and original. So I have the kettle going in the other room. I'm going to depart from the void space to the void space kitchen to grab us a couple cups worth of boiling water and then we will make ourselves some tea. Okay, so I've got two cups of fresh off the boil water, but I realized I made a tactical error here because I am pouring water in here. So I need to put down a tray. So if it, uh, if I spill, it'll be easier to control it. Also, I probably should have taken the packets out and put them in the cup because the water is cooling while I am doing this. 
so that's a that's a thing too. I, I should have prepped this all the way before going to get the water. But yeah, so that's all we get. Our very it's like it's dusting out, so I gotta be careful with that. Uh, our very heavily cream and sweetener filled tea bags. There's our rose fruity. So the way that the package, I think these probably, I could probably just buy a box of these and supply my own cup and get a much better value. All right, so I should just leave those back there, put the lids up here and let's pour some water before it gets any cooler. And then we'll give it five minutes. So we'll have another little, little jump in here while we let our tea steep. And I want to try to keep them as even as possible. See, I am putting a little bit more water than it says to put in, because again, I'm not going to sit here and try to work out on this measuring cup what point like eight, seven of a cup is to uh, deal with that. Let's give them a, I guess a little bit of a stir now. That's probably the wrong end, isn't it? I should probably use the end that has a little spoon on it. That was supposed to be the handle. There we go. Give it a little bit of a stir. Give it a little bit of a stir. Throw those lids on. And I will see you back here in five minutes my time and maybe a couple seconds of yours. Be right back. Okay, so five minutes have elapsed in my time, which means it is time for tea time. Let's take the tea bags out of the tea cups and see what we ended up with here. So I guess give it another little stir just to make sure everything is uh, good and processed. And yeah, this doesn't give you a full cup of tea. And keep in mind that I put in more water than it said to. It said to put in less than a cup, and I put in about a cup and you get you get just over half a cup of a product at the end here what does it smell like it smells flowery and fruity so i suppose that's it living up to its name let's put the lid back on and let's check out our original milk tea you can give it a stir try to get the rest of the creamy tea water out of there yes and yes i know you should not squeeze tea bags because it lets out all like the bitter stuff. But I mean, this you're just not getting much here. I feel like uh, I want to get all the liquid I can. Also, these are cute little spoons. They say 3.15 p.m. on them. They're very cute. All right, put the lid on that one. And here we have two almost cups of instant milk tea. It's even got the little flip back cover so you can uh, can feel like you're drinking a tea from a real shop these uh little clips are interesting though I don't, i've never seen lids with these on them before i wonder what purpose they actually i guess maybe they hold it on a little bit tighter because they i don't know they're interesting it's an interesting design it's a, a heat resistant 20 to 120 something Safe lock lid. I guess it's just the lid doesn't pop off as easily when you pick it up if you just like, like pick it up like this, which you shouldn't do. All right, so I'm trying our rose fruity milk tea. It does smell a little, little of roses. It does smell very much of fruit. It doesn't smell very much of tea. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. Well, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely fruity. I do taste, I think I do taste the flowery rose flavor in there. But very fruity, light, sweet. Don't really get much of a tea flavor out of it. What kind of tea actually was it? Was it a black tea? Or was it a different kind of tea? And steep three to five minutes. Are there not ingredients? I mean, there have to be ingredients, right? Sugar, creamer, black tea. Okay, rose and fruit flavor powder. So it is black tea. I don't really get much of a black tea flavor out of it. But again, 315 teas tend to be a little more, 
a little more on the sweet and creamy and a little less on the tea flavor. Let's try the original milk. Okay, now that one I do get much more of a tea flavor out of. Still not super strong. That's kind of where I am, I think, normally with 315 is they could do with a little more tea in the bag just to give it a little more of a tea flavor. But again, I feel generally when you buy a milk tea in the shop, it's not usually super tea flavored either. It's it's It tastes of tea, but not predominantly. It's not like you ordered a cup of tea and added milk and sugar to it. You ordered a milk tea, which is a totally different creature. But they're both nice. I, I don't... I don't know that the fruity one's really my thing. But it's not bad or anything, but you could... It might actually be better as an iced one. That might have been better to prepare it as an iced preparation instead of a hot one. But it's, it's, it's interesting. It's different. It's not bad. It's just, if I'm going to go back to the store and look at all the 315 teas on the shelf, because they do make quite a few of them, uh, that's not going to be probably the one I would choose. I'd probably go... Something like the brown sugar. Uh, I think they've done, they had like a coffee one before. The original milk. I probably wouldn't pick the rose fruity for myself. Try the, the original again. Yeah, I definitely prefer that one. They're both nice. Neither one's bad. As always with, with uh, 315, I feel like it could be more tea flavored, but that's that's a me thing. That's not a that's not a fault on their part. That's just a personal preference issue. And they are, of course, the perfect tea beverage for a 90 plus degree afternoon like today. So that was a good choice on my part too. Still, I think between the two of them, I will have the caffeine to get through the rest of the day. If nothing else, the sugar will give me a boost for a good little while. So I'm gonna go finish my tea. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And in case you didn't get it, I do think these are both good. I just prefer this one more. See you in the next video.